Okay, hi everybody and welcome to this uh, video series that I'll be making uh, that will show you how to implement the SCOT CPU uh, on an FPGA. So about a year ago, uh, I stumbled upon this book here that I have right here that is called But How Do It Know by uh, John uh, Clark Scott. And it is a book that explains in great detail uh, how to basically implement a CPU from the ground up uh, using only NAND gates. It explains very uh, step by step, if you want, all the gates that you need to construct, all the different circuits that you need to be that build uh, the ALU, the control unit, the memory, and how to put everything together to make a small but functional uh, computer. So I was very interested by this book and uh, I went about um, trying to do uh, some software implementations of this uh, CPU uh, basically for the fun of it. So I started out um, doing a Perl implementation. Perl is a language that's not so much used these days but uh, back in the day uh, I was pretty good at it so I started with that. So I made a functional implementation of the CPU in Perl but it was uh, excruciatingly slow so uh, then I tried to have another go at it, uh, no pun intended, using the Go uh, language. Uh, it's a language that I had been wanted to learn for a long time. And since uh, uh, this came up, so I decided to take the opportunity to learn Go through doing this implementation. So this one was much faster. And uh, it, it was pretty cool actually. So I will put in the link uh, in the description below box, I will put all the links to the GitHub repos where I put all, all my stuff. So starting to uh, mess around with all this low level CPU stuff kind of got me into uh, microcontrollers. So after that, I started. Uh, uh, purchased an Arduino board and I started to play around with that a bit then I got into uh, different uh, microcontrollers uh, ESP8266 that kind of stuff and ultimately that led me to discover uh, FPGAs so uh, FPGAs which are essentially programmable hardware so an FPGA is basically a bunch of electronic circuits that you that are all connected through some fabric and you can basically uh, program it to do whatever you want to do but it doesn't have a CPU, it doesn't have instructions, it's really really a low level gate, uh, registers, memory, that kind, that kind of stuff. So uh, through this, this series I will be taking the various circuits and bit and bytes that are described uh, by John in his book and I will be uh, implementing them on an FPGA, on the development board uh, of an MPG. This is the model that I am going to use. I don't know if you can see it. It's a Digilin Basis 3 board. It's a great board to learn uh, FPGA uh, design and to play with that because it has a lot of uh, peripherals, switches, LEDs uh, built in on it that you can use to interact with, uh, with your circuit. So I'm, uh, I'm going to be using that to implement the various circuits, like I said, of John's design and hopefully to be able to build up to ultimately a complete uh, CPU that can execute a simple assembly program, uh, possibly one that comes from, uh, from John's uh, website. Uh, so that being said, I am not uh, uh, an electronical engineer. I am uh, at... Uh, the base I'm a software developer and I'm an all-around IT guy but I never designed circuits so uh, it's for me this is a first working with FPGAs it's really interesting but I am no by no means an expert and uh, will probably run into uh, many uh, snags uh, along the way so that's about it for the introduction video so uh, the next video I hope to post will uh, demo really the basic circuits are the building blocks of, uh, of the CPU and uh, we'll do that uh, on the board 
and uh, make kind of program so that you can see all the different bits uh, in action. So hope uh, to see you soon in the next video.